what's up everyone today's video i'm going to showcase you guys the best deck list to pendulum fdk your opponent on master duel i'll be showcasing the combo tutorial and everything so make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to understand the theory deck list and the whole reasoning behind it and it is so 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 incredibly easy before we get into it make sure to smash the subscribe button guys we're almost at 60,000 subscribers don't forget to smash the like button as well if you guys want to check out, check out more tips and tricks like this on master duel Go check out my Patreon down in the description below. We're going to get daily videos on gameplay and everything on Patreon. Go check it out. Also, check out www.shopgaming.com for the best pendulum playmats in the game. Let's get straight into this video. So, the whole idea behind this deck is that against any one hand trap, I'm guaranteed to FTK. Against two hand traps, we sometimes could still FTK. But if we can't, we still made sure the extra deck still has the gates. To still be safe through their four cards they're going to have. We also make sure to fill the extra deck with enough cards. That going second is still a breeze. And utilize magician cards like Black Fang and Poison. That make going second much easier. And utilizing Black Fang's effect multiple times. When we're going second. I'll show you guys how. To utilize its effect especially from Graveyard with Time Star. So I'll explain everything. But let's get straight into this video. The deck list will be one Dragon Pit. Specifically for going second. Don't worry about them not being darks, like Pensork and Wisdom, they're not darks. But the best way to pen FDK on Master Duel is specifically, don't worry about darks. Because we're going to go, the way the combo works is, we're going to put up double Starving Venom. Then at the end, we're going to put Verte. And if one of these cards can't make Starving Venom, because Starving Venom specifically sort of Dark Pendulums, Verte can make the Wisdom a dark. As you guys are going to see in the combo, I'm going to show at the very end. And then Verte will send Instant Fusion to summon out... Uh, Lyra Lusk Independent Nightingale, the only good Lyra Lusk, ja, ja, ja. And then this card is going to then allow both Starring Venom to copy their effect to do damage time its level. So Starring Venom is 8 star, it'll do 8 times 500 damage. That equals 4,000 damage. So double Starring Venom is 8,000 damage. And uh, 8,500 damage if we want to count Lyra Lusk's damage as well. So 8,500 burn damage to the face. Let's go. Uh, we play all these for consistency the Sork, Wisdom, and Joker. You don't need to open Curtain Razor to do this FTK. You can just pen summon any amount of monsters you want. And you resolve in that get that FTK at the very end. Harm, double Harm of 1, Iris. We play Double Black Fang because in scenarios where you don't have the FTK, it's very easy to loop Double Black Fangs utilizing the Starving Venom, even if your first Electrum gets hand trapped. So let's say we're going through the motions. Electrum gets hand trapped. That's fine. You make Time Star. And then after you Time Star, you're going to have three Dark Spellcasters in your graveyard. Well, if you make it with Harmo, with two Magicians, whatever it may be. And then you're going to Starving Venom loop by utilizing the Selene to bring back if you need for an extra Spellcaster for Starving Venom. The Electrum loop, and Katan's just going to add the Astrograph. That's how you're going to continually go to eventually end on, if you don't have the FTK, to Harbinger, Vortex, Appalooza, Pengraph, through uh, this by looping Black Fang. Po and also you want to play two Black Fang for Astrograph to search a Black Fang if you need to. Poison is the same idea. You, If you're going second, you want Astrograph, when Purple Poison gets popped by whatever reason, Astrograph could summon itself out, get another Poison. Curtain Razor is the best extender in the game. I don't play Dark Worm Engine because I believe the entire engine, uh, with the exception of Foolish or Shrine, is kind of a, like a brick. I don't want to open Dark Worm at gate zero, and I do expect my opponent to at the very least Valor or Imperm my Electrum. I don't expect Electrum to resolve. So I don't want to forcefully get the Infinity and Gate Zero to scales. And they are kind of bricks. So the, the deck's just not required. Because Verte is legal. And Verte was never legal while this FTK was legal. So the combination of Verte and this whole combo just makes it so absolutely insane. And with all the draw power, we play Triple Lord, Triple Into the Void. No upstart because it'll put them at 9,000. Oaf Dragon, you're the best low scale. Like I said, if you see too many scales that are uh, pendulums are not dark, it doesn't matter because of Verte. Uh, super, 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 uber consistent. Double star pen graph, each dual slice and pen call. Pen call does not work with Electrum. Yes, 100%. Pen call does conflict with Wisdom. Yes, but it doesn't matter. You're trying to get the most consistent consistency possible. Because of Pen Sork and Curtain Razor, if you have both Pen Call and Dual Alliance or Pen Call Sork, make sure to scale the Pen Sork instead of scaling the Oath Dragon. That way, that way Electrum could continuously keep pop the Pen Sork to still get your value. Same idea with Raise Curtain Razor when getting low scale and high scales. Uh, there's a way to play around Nibiru. Uh, I'll explain later. The way to play around Nibiru is by going, when you go Electrum uh, uh, Astrograph, the two of them go into Selene. The Selene specials from your hand to go into Appalooza. Then you Pendulum 5, and uh, you still do the same thing, saving your normal summon at the end to summon the, the last card for Verte. 
Um, I don't recommend playing around Nibiru. I think if you do play around Nibiru a thousand times, you'll get, uh, you'll maybe play around the Nibiru once out of a thousand. In the, the idea is that, like, a th okay, one hundred times that you play around Nibiru, maybe one of those one hundred or two of those one hundred on Master Duel, they'll have the Nibiru in hand. I understand Nibiru is a great hand trap, but not many people are playing the Nibiru. Not many people, like, it's not guaranteed as a fact Nibiru is in every single Master Duel deck. That's just not true. And because it's the best of one, people's decks have to be switched towards it. I noticed recently that the entire Platinum ladder is just Eldritch and Striker. What's your Nibiru doing? So don't worry about it for now while, while it's like this. Uh, I don't, that's why I don't play around it. Because if you play around it that much, if you play around Appaloosa around it, your board will be worse. So in 100 duels over, your board will be worse 99 times versus the one time you protected it. It's just not worth. Lyriless is FTK card, Vortex, an absolute packer, double starving, Savage as like uh, just in case. Time star because first and second, it does so many plays with the magicians to break boards. Uh, Dark Rebellion breaks any, destroys any monster. Absolute Harbinger. I don't play Supreme King the Clear Wing for harmonizing because Zeus accomplishes the same result via Time Star and Dark Rebellion. Then Electro Verte Selene Appaloosa Access Code. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the actual comp tutorial and how easy it is to actually make. This is my replay where I was playing on Rated with the FTK. Uh, my record with the FTK on Platinum right now is like 4 0. I haven't played much with the FTK, but the FTK is truly, truly outstanding. I'm a huge fan of it, and at first I didn't think so. But you have to keep in mind, people are playing cards like, uh, let, let's say that what are they playing Droplets? What are they playing Chalice? What are they breaking boards first? Here, my Joker gets Ash Blossom, which was th very disappointing because my Joker, if I got Wisdom Eye, my whole plays was fucking crazy. My hand is not that good. I have no access to Wisdom Eye, I have no access to Pen Call. Like, this, this is not that crazy. So here I'm going to go Electrum. I'm going to send first to see in case he's a hand trap. I go Do Iris. I want to resolve Sky Iris. As you see, I'm playing Sky Iris in this build. This was this combo tutorial was my old build. I recommend the current build I showed you guys because it's cleaner. This version has a little slight tendency to brick slightly more. Uh, so I decided to take all the bricks. As you see, they're not worth that much. Uh, they're not doing much for me. I go Astrograph here to get a Pensorc. I'm going to resolve Revolution Dragon to get Dark Worm. Dark Worm is going to be my high scale here. Uh, I could go Selene here if I want, and Appaloosa, but like I said, if I go Appaloosa, there's no FTK because I'll be missing a sixth monster. I'd prefer to set the FD FTK because I don't believe Nibiru is a card that I'm scared of in the ladder. Don't be scared of stuff like that. Just in case, I set up Pensorc to get scales, or, sorry, to get cards in hand to get value. So here I have Joker, Sork, Celestial for next turn. I'm set up three cards in hand. I go Harmonizing Special. As you notice here, there's no Dark. I put up one Starving Venom. I go Verte with the other two. Very simple. And they don't know you're playing the FTK. This is a best of one. They don't know They don't know to save their Valor for Verte or whatever. Bro, they're using all their hand traps on a, a Joker, Electromite. The first thing they see is getting hand trapped because they don't know you're playing FTK. Electrum's getting it. If Electrum doesn't get hand trapped, you know for a fucking absolute fact they don't have a hand trap. And then boom, just like that, Lyrilus copy each of them. Or Venom copy Lyrilus, I mean. 4k damage by each. That's 8,000. GG with through ash this is ftk through ash with a shit hand the hand was not good we had no wisdom no oaf dragon no like actual starter like that uh so yeah gg that's the video guy i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm telling you guys as an absolute fact that this ftk is legit this ftk is legit this ftk is legit it's legit it's legit every single time you go first you're ftking them through one uh, version of valor imperm ash if they just max C you, you go through it. It doesn't matter. If they max C you, a lot of decks that play max C are decks like, you know, Drytron. Let's play three max C to hope it stop FTK, VFD, stuff like that. Or they'll play one, they'll play three max C, three Ash. Sure, dude. Sure. Nibiru is the only way to save you. Like, if max C doesn't draw you Nibiru, you could draw 30 times, bro. I don't think you're playing the out because you're FTKing their ass. So this FTK is through max C, FTK is through Ash Blossom, FTK is through Valor. Well, it's only when they double hand trap you. When they double hand trap you, you don't FTK. But instead of FTK, you set up a big board. And some hands could hand trap through double hand trap. Some hand traps could FTK through double hand trap. It's a legitimately very, very, very consistent deck. And going second, you're just playing Pendulum. And because you're playing an access of Purple Poison, Black Bang, you're still breaking boards going second very easily. And there's a lot of times where going second, you just Pendulum summon a bunch, take care of all the interruptions, and you still just end on double... Like, you'll do maybe like even doesn't matter even a little bit of damage but you clear the interruptions and then main phase two you go verte double starving gg hope you guys enjoyed this video this vi like you go <laughs> oh my god i love this deck bro i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the subscribe button make sure to smash the like button also also if you guys got this far you guys gotta go check out the patreon down below where you can learn cool tips and tricks about this fdk and other decks like this 
Also, check out the playmats on TrumpGaming.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.